Welcome to What the Fuss. We have more purge points. And we have uh, many more TikToks to cover that hold valuable information for us to learn. I don't think I have uh, increased purge points this many times in one day. But that's just what TikTok is all about. It's about giving you the news, especially uh, summer season. Now that the heat waves are over, shit is happening. Olympics is happening. And wildfires still crazy. I really can't believe that you are gone. Uh, the Jasper Forks. Unfortunately, Jasper in flames right now. That's a small town that gets a lot of tourism in Canada. Crazy. For itself, Jasper National Park, of course, the lead or Jasper officials confirming that more days ago really came up from the South Drift today. Still bizarre to try and comprehend how they can't contain the fires. What's the difficulty level of this? But yeah, lots of shit is going on, so uh, from a lot of angles, let's dive in. And who knows, maybe this video is actually 30 minutes long. Oh my god, Taylor Swift uh, ticket prices are so much higher in America than in Spain. I believe we have uh, 11,000 versus 210. 50 times bigger price. I don't know. In New Orleans this year is $11,000. 11,000. It's weird. It's just price gouging. Okay. How do people afford? Well, us uh, rich people. I don't know. I've had enough of Windows 11. It's going bye bye. Crazy, right? Why would he do that? He actually broke down the news that uh, Windows will stop giving security updates or Microsoft will stop giving security updates to Windows 10 very soon. But fuck it. Let's downgrade. Why? Because his drivers just keep disappearing and Windows forcefully update itself to make sure that the drivers do in fact disappear. Wi-Fi drivers of all things. Yeah, makes computer unusable. That's crazy. Guys, it's for the Olympics, and I regret my decision so- And I have met a wall. There's a fucking wall. It's hard to explain why there's a wall, but uh, normally just to prevent things from happening, if you know what I mean. Paris is not a safe place, apparently. There's a lot of robberies and weird shit. In fact, the best place to start is Dylan Page. Crazy. Honestly, what the hell is going on in France right now? Because just hours before the opening ceremony for the Olympics, Olympics games, happening, there has just been a massive coordinated attack on multiple high speed rail lines. And keep in mind, this is on a day where there is expected to be around 600,000 people in attendance. Um, authorities say that these arson attacks were deliberately to sabotage the Olympics because they say that the train lines were attacked in the west, north, and east and even tried to complete the full circle around yeah it's like purely purge you cannot fucking make this up any crazier than that right due to immigrants it's kind of weird like uh we have been able to security breach ourselves as well like the government just like security breach this is what purge is all about like Trump's assassination attempt was security breach. The the Windows uh, update blue screen uh, across the world was a security breach. This shit just keeps on pumping. And the biggest one of all is immigration security breach. Because we, as a community, we cannot just stop nobody. We cannot fucking coordinate ourselves to stop stupid shit from happening. Now we just gotta sit and... Uh, you know, hold hands if we have friends in the first place. So the security breach is the government just collecting people from other places and pretending that that's gonna boost their reputation or something. Just some dumbass shit. Olympic organizers have just had to issue a deep apology after South Korea were introduced as North Korea in the opening ceremony in both French and English. The South Korean sports ministry wonderful it's just create a power 
Uh, we'll come back to this, but Pretty yeah. Of Jesus. Uh, this is where art is right now, just like vomit art, outrage art, all over the place. But it has no place in the Olympics. It's just, what, we still have another security breach, another empty space, no more artistry going on. Clearly, obviously. Everything is falling apart, this security breach across the world of all kinds of things, and this is one of those things for sure, 100%. The first in the world to allow women passengers to decline sitting next to men. Uh I don't know how exactly this works, but that means that women get to choose first, basically. Crying babies, oh my god. Of Tragic coming out of the world famous town of Jasper today as last night, Hugh. Honestly, yep. what the hell? The Olympics hasn't even officially begun yet, but the chaos. Has. Australia's gold medal BMX athlete was robbed last night. Luckily, the team's bikes weren't in the van at the time, but they later found a bunch of their equipment like their bags, helmets, tools, and massage tables discarded near a park bench, and they even ate their chocolate. They ate your chockies! <laughs> then, on Wednesday, three members of Australia's Olympic broadcast team were walking back from the studio when they were attacked and robbed by a group of men. A couple days before that, police arrested a Russian chef on suspicion of plotting with a foreign power to stage large-scale acts of destabilization during the Olympic Games. Yeah, two members of, of staff on Canada's women's football team were sent home after allegedly flying a drone over New Zealand's training session. And then, to top it all off, just last night, literal riot police had to enter the match against Argentina and Morocco because not only did the ref give 15 minutes of added time when Argentina was 2-1 down but they managed to equalize in the 16th minute fans started throwing bottles flares running onto the all right cool fourth world country okay sure immigration again never see yeah this is old news I covered that to some extent out that if you and probably gonna review this guy separately but basically, sometimes you're not allowed to have multiple houses in a special area. So what you can do with your friends is make a corporation, which is a single entity, apparently. And that is a loophole that's necessary for houses to exist. Housing market is now it's just a pure conspiracy against people. And I will explain why. What the going on at the Olympics? Look, I'm very famously not a Christian. I equally shit on every religion. You'll never find me defending religion in any way whatsoever. So my issue with what happened during the opening ceremonies has nothing to do with defending Christianity, defending Jesus, or defending religion in any way whatsoever. My issue comes from what the fuck does any of this have to do with the Olympics? You what the hell is going on? This is what happens if you drive. But yeah, someone thought it was a good idea, but usually it's just now a pathetic joke at the people who are now vulnerable because it's the apocalypse and you can sort of do whatever you want, except bigger and bigger people are going to start doing whatever they want. I will come to play as well. You know, you set up a fucking game board for yourself and start messing around. Well, bigger and bigger players gonna do bigger and bigger things because they know how to play. And uh, people who start fires, they just start fires. They just know how to fucking light a match and throw it in a random location when you start a fire. This is very interesting purge material for me to explore, isn't it? That's a big revelation for the purge. Let's keep going. Way roads! How do we fix roads, Dave? Are these really the best way to slow down? Extension sections further into the road to narrow the you roadway. You can do these. This visual narrowing of the roadway can slow down drivers, and the smaller turning radius reduces the speed at which drivers make turns. Curve extensions also reduce crossing distances for pedestrians and can. That is pretty satisfying. Puzzle thing. Yes, no parking spaces. To slow down in order to take the turns at a safe speed. This example in Charlotte, North Carolina, used to be a standard. Yes, if you make a wiggly road, of course you have to slow down. No need for bumpers. Used for common theme yet. This gives the visual. 
visual appearance of narrowed lanes and encourages drivers to slow down to ensure they can safely make it through the space between the side of the road and the median island. When Lovely stuff. And you can put a crosswalk in between. Wonderful. That's split in two. All right. AI from this video game just solved the housing crisis in America, but not everyone's going to like this answer. Got rid of all landlords, because what the fuck is a landlord? Everyone's supposed to own their property. Even if it's a small one, you work your way up. That's how it's supposed to work, right? Why rent? Why leech off the people? You, When you're renting a property, you're not actually increasing your ownership of it. You're not receiving anything at all. Just the ability to stay there. And it's uh, very frustrating, I would say. And yet, we're in a point where house ownership is actually unaffordable. It makes no sense. And even more landlords are being created, basically. Kind of. Because everyone needs now to rent or would prefer renting places instead of buying places. And it's all of a sudden just a total mess. Housing crisis solved by AI. In the new by getting rid of landlords. Why? Because one person not supposed to own five homes. I think that's the basic logic. This guy does not explain exactly. But it just makes sense to me. There's a lot of vacant spaces that have to be simply sold. You are forced to sell that shit. And the price keeps dropping until you sell your fucking stupid house. That's the whole point. And you can even improve upon that even further. Like, this is not a difficult problem for AI to solve. Now and then people ask me if I'd ever consider being a prosecutor again in the end. A lot of black people came out against uh, this uh, Sonia Massey event. And uh, it was a black woman that got shot. I did not knew the information initially. And uh, it's it's interesting, you know. For policemen to be so fucking jumpy against a woman, like, that's crazy. Against hot water and still be, like, completely out of touch the whole way through. Yeah. Uh, at least it did, didn't turn into, like, a big protest wave. Or some racial thing, but... Uh, it's so upsetting to see policemen not do their job properly. You know, it's a big security breach when you know you're not being protected properly. In fact, you're being attacked when you ask for protection. That's what she asked for, like she was not a threat. And that's crazy. That means that you have a pol police that's corrupted to the point where they just do our completely random thing, completely unexplainable thing. Urge point up. Did you know raccoons are starting to attack Tesla Cybertrucks after they think it looks like a dumpster and are trying to pry it open? Of it all. I think this Twitter user put it perfectly when he said, oh, Tesla Cybertruck owners will say, no, 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 it does not look like a dumpster while the raccoons are out here saying, gosh, dang, this dumpster's hard to open. I mean, uh, it's very nice to see an insult to Elon Musk delivered by raccoons, by nature itself. The most heated vehicle can also be called a dumpster. All right, cool. Meet Just Up Oil. See, Just Up Oil have a problem. Well, they blocked the fucking road and uh, they des destroyed basically 1.7 million of value by blocking things, by blocking uh, people going to work, delivery drivers, medical emergencies. You fucking name it. And at least they got jail time because of course they deserve it. In fact, if you can't cover the cost of your protest, uh, good luck. Good luck. This is not a peaceful protest, bro. This is not how you do things. I don't ex exactly know how you do things because I'm not interested in protesting. Because I cannot fucking gather ten people together to do anything at all. I can't even gather one person to go outside with. And yet we have this shit. 
Like, at some point, just like what Sniper Roll had to deal with, react to with this vegan person who went, went into this yeah. Yeah, gallery or rather expensive stuff place but it just feels like a gallery at this point maybe you uh, know this person because it should be viral if cypher was reacting to this but um protesting seems like an npc thing to do seems just like uh an outrage brain fart you just decided that this is a good thing for you to do but like it's a self-sacrifice you ruin your reputation technically uh you're doing some outrageous thing that you, like your brain cannot actually comprehend and by the way vegan being vegan is not that big of a deal because chickens are being created to be used for that specific reason of being food they get to live their life and they get to be food i think that it's a win-win for everyone if we didn't uh buy chickens then they wouldn't fucking produce chickens anymore and then there wouldn't be as many chickens there's actually more chickens because we want to eat chickens can you fucking imagine that world you know we actually using chickens we we don't actually have chickens at homes so we can't actually like Call it animal cruelty of like, oh, please take care of this chicken, you know. So when we debate vegans of like, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? There's actually more animals because we eat them. Because they have a purpose, uh, the very shitty purpose it feels like if you put it in a slaughtering and killing way. But it's just like, they get, they get their low own lifespan they eat their food they fill their bellies and at some point comes a day where they have to perish and turn into food this is just a natural process of everything humans also turn into food they get old and the only thing they can do is not work just tell stories to other people it's actually backwards unfortunately we give pensions to old people we don't turn them into food. That's the problem I have. Veganism? How about fucking cannibalism? <laughs> How about we go a completely different direction and talk about all these old people that just fill an empty space for no reason? Maybe they're not wel welcome, actually. Maybe they're just causing problems. How about talk about every single angle of this? Oh my god, we use so many animals for a good purpose. Thanks for spitting the facts. Anyways, so yeah, protesting like even oil. Do you know how useful oil is versus electric shit? Mm? No, I don't think everyone can just do all the research and figure things out. And how much oil is actually being used to extract all the minerals for electric shit to function like come on man you, yeah you still cannot build a fully electric like drilling system and mining system and extraction and manufacturing system you use oil for fucking everything you can't fucking stop it bro even if you stop it from the roads like it's just who cares you stop 10 percent of something if even by just converting all of these cars slowly and carefully but you still have to convert the bigger ones the delivery trucks bro like uh it's not that fucking easy Elon Musk barely can fucking uh, you know get out of jail free at the moment being all electric and explosive and uh, ownership of twitter and all that shit bro just ru running around doing havoc because he has so much fucking money from this electrical shit that's being funded by the government because government is also so obsessed by electric shit because everyone is so scared of oil right now. Uh, it's just creating so much fucking problems. This one 1 1.7 cost is just like a fluff, you know, idea. But it's just like completely fair. Completely fair. So they get... 
uh four years each pretty much there's like five of them or whatever holy shit they're finally holy shit what is happening here giraffe wants to test its skills against hyena and this is the most random lion boy confusing standoff i've ever lion. seen in my life at first glance you may see just four animals looking at each other I'm gonna eliminate the vultures because vultures are scavengers. They eat the. So there's no way that the crowd strike outage on Friday was a mistake. And the reason for it is because you do testing before you make an update. And unfortunately, testing was not done. Not even small scale, it just was full on update for everyone. Fucking cancer for everyone, someone decided. No stop signs, no nothing. And now you can see the combination of forced updates plus, you know, no testing equals just pure disaster. Also, just like Microsoft holding a monopoly, clearly government somewhere somehow is going to tell them to fucking stop being a monopoly and uh, start uh, forking out because, like, for fuck's sake, we need some stable versions of uh, Windows already. This is getting out of control. Uh, if you don't already feel like you're living in this sci-fi movie... Well, you can be hired by AI in a certain website. Because AI needs help. AI needs your help. AI cannot do everything. I'm not sure how it works, and I'm not willing to explore with my limited time. But there's a website for that. Where AI is going to hire you and that's just the start tip of the iceberg is just gonna evolve of course AI is gonna ask you questions too you know of course AI is gonna collect information and if you are a smart person AI is gonna be like oh you can help me actually you you seem so smart you're dealing with all these smart person problems maybe you can try and solve me some puzzles I'll give you five bucks for that Fascinating. I just watched the body camera footage. Thank you for that. Isn't it weird that in 2024, there's cameras on everything? Everything. I mean, literally everything. I've seen cameras on hats. I've seen cameras on cups before. You ever seen a camera on a cup? I have. Look it up. There are cameras on everything. <laughs> Except for satellites and rockets. They'll never have a camera on one of those. It seems easy, though. You could, like, screw one onto the side. A GoPro. Yeah, unfortunately, the whole space thing is a conspiracy for sure, because we get absolutely nothing out of it. Mm. I got a question. Do any of you that own land regret it? Because, like, here's where I'm at. I rent, and every day I, wa I wake up and I spiral down. And I don't have to worry about maintenance of the place. Great. There's a little bit of a problem, though. A little bit of a problem. But yeah, you don't have to, like, save up to buy a house. You can move around to any place you want. And you sort of have a secured place, but that's the only problem. Like, you might not feel too secure. But it's just like, whatever, you're just going to move out anyways to a different place. And now that technology allows you to do that. Uh, home ownership actually is counterproductive. I want to move right now, bro. Like, the place I live is fucking filthy. But where's the good stuff? Where's the good places? Well, I would have to scavenge and explore, and it's just like, it's not that easy. How do, how do you do that? You still have to, like, put down some cash to be able to stay overnight or something. Like, it's some weird shit. There should be more opportunities for this stuff. Even at this point. Instead, you have expensive hotels. Instead, you have... Shitty fucking monopolies getting in front of your face and offering something for very high prices when you just want something super simple like stay for a fucking week, not for a month, just to test what's up, right? Where's that? Where's the testing part of anything? Jesus. AI has an energy problem. It has been estimated that training ChatGPT took as much energy as driving a car all the distance to the moon and back again, or roughly 19 times around the Earth. What's more is that the technology behind ChatGPT 
is increasing in size and energy consumption 750 times every so this guy is gonna research of how to avoid that and be more efficient energy wise which is like great it is scary though because like we're literally staring at singularity if we make things more efficient but he's just saying mr I'll beast research. this is a cry for help please oh my god please mr beast answer my prayers do you still not realize that they're all playing multiple roles and I'm not just talking this guy, I'm talking all of them. Why don't we take a look at two supposedly different individuals in Benicio Del Toro and Brad Pitt. They look kind of similar, right? Kind of real similar, even in their younger years. Yeah, it's kind of fascinating to me that conspiracies like these make sense, right? Like, what? What am I even looking That's at? That's all it is, right? Similarity. They just have similar features. They couldn't possibly. Hmm, man. Fucking hashtag satire. What do you God think about Plus games? So, there's a couple of... So there's a couple of things that have changed over the years. We uh, used to get physical media, and including games, and now we don't. And shipping and... Distributing that uh, physical media was very difficult back in the day, and now it's supposed to be very easy because it's fully digital, and anyone in the world can participate in buying your stupid shit. The problem with that, unfortunately, is competition, so the competition will drive prices, but also it will drive prices down to the point where a lot of games are actually free. I'm playing a free game for uh, many, many years now. In fact, I'm making a YouTube channel out of it. Which is card games, okay? Simple. And uh, now I almost expect free games. It's kind of crazy. So you can go one direction. I'm going to just snatch all those free games for myself because there's plenty to choose from, to be honest. In fact, I'm covering one right now on my channel, which is a mind test. It's a shitty name for an amazing software. All right? And I played a pretty cool map, it's gonna... You, you should click and find out how cool it gets. Because I will keep on playing, there's so much more to explore. There's free games, and $100 is a legit garbage. To pay. Yo, I got a conspiracy theory about TikTok, and if I'm right, it's gonna really impact our activism work. This video showed up on my uh, For You page... Like... Two months behind or something. This is like one week ago. So at 21. 721. This Yo, is 530. Almost two months ago this was released and I, I received it eventually. So it was ironic. But it's good that I saw your video. It's busy theory Isn't about it? TikTok, and if I'm right, it's gonna really impact our activism work this summer. Have you noticed that your FYP is no longer in chronological order? And I'm not saying you're seeing a video from like a day ago. I'm talking about you're seeing videos from months ago. And no longer does the little date come up next to the person. That is scary because I we all see the date here, but it actually doesn't show up on the tablet. The name of when they posted that video, if you see it on the FYP. You have to check the comments, and it's still not going to be clear. The only way to find that is if you go to their profile, or if you check in the comments, you can see the date that the comments were posted. Which, by the way, go in the comments and tell me what date that you saw this on, because I'm really, really, really... It is weird, like, activism relies on the news being pumped into your face, and now shit has to calm down, apparently. It is what it is. Love don't have physical cash guys because it's not safe banks can just steal all of it that's the point in this video yeah definitely like you are always aiming to find the safest place for your money that's kind of the game as well and bank is not necessarily that place in fact my dad literally lost thirteen thousand because he held all of it in the bank and that's kind of crazy to me but where else would you fucking hold it like, eventually, if you're traveling, you can't just leave it behind. You gonna fucking submit to the bank. But he was literally fucking robbed. 
And, uh, well, he's gonna get his money back because it's not that fucking easy to steal from the bank. So that's cool. But the bank can easily steal from you is the problem. And it's very complicated stuff, right? Very complicated game. This card on the left, to charismatic play. leader. It looks like Donald Trump, right? That this is a... This is Donald Trump. Now, the one on the right, I've been seeing forever and thinking, man, that also really looks like Donald Trump. Really cool. And it's yeah. called Enough is Enough. Let's look deeper at the Enough. Yeah, Enough is Enough is when uh, the big players come enough. to play. Here's the picture of Trump pumping his fist at the rally, overlaid with the card, and it matches Fight. perfectly. And then below that, the first sentence is, at any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. If this isn't being pulled out of demonic prophecy or the Akashic records and that was definitely impressive. Whoever invented the walking bike was a genius. If you ride it, you'll get 100% attention. This is a bicycle invented by Dutch inventor Bruin. Instead of pedals, he replaced them with a track. As soon as a person steps on the track and starts walking forward, the track rolls in the opposite direction. It's like having a treadmill. This is how the walking bike drives the motor at the back, to move the whole bike forward. Instead of... Hey, don't lose to a regular bike, please. To move the whole bike oh, forward. Oh, man. Instead of walking, oh, man. this bike... Is but he literally just walking and it's kind of cool. And it feels comfortable, I imagine. ...is able to move forward quickly just by walking. And the walking bike has six gears. This means that you can adjust. It also feels like it's unnecessary to have the back wheel. You can just put them on like the sides and make the bike smaller. I'm not exactly sure. Well, there is, you know, for packages or something you can carry. But like, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. The speed of the bike at any time while riding. The bike is said to have a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Imagine that while you're walking on it, you can also pass a few passers-by on traditional bicycles. Isn't that exciting to think about? But technically speaking, the walking bike is actually a kind of electric bike. Many people may think, I ride a bike because I don't want to walk. Then it's not necessary to invent this walking bike. Yeah, I would imagine this is like semi-electric. This cannot just be like you're walking and you're doing the thing. Uh, it just kind of charges ahead of time, giving just enough momentum to push forward. I imagine that, and then it reads how much pressure you're putting. It's just a very weird thing to think about how it works. I can't quite I got the figure it out. by the Japanese police, and I did. Thank you very much. Critical thinking is becoming extinct, and the low IQ is becoming like the norm thing. By the way, you might not uh, predict what I'm about to say to her. And the elites want this because they think they're justified in doing whatever they want to the low IQ. And this was really evident, the cult-like thinking in 2020. Remember when the government told you to jump off of a bridge and a bunch of you just did it without asking any questions? And then some of you broke your leg on the first jump and the government's like, no, you just did it wrong. You, you got to do it again. And then blindly, you went and jumped off the bridge again. So government is actually allowed to tell you not to go outside. Government knows when outside has nothing to offer for you. When well, you have to stay inside and be with yourself when socializing is no longer valid. Government actually can detect that when uh, apocalypse begins. Government is the first one to announce it basically to everyone. We will not socialize. We will not go outside. We will not talk to each other. We will not look into other people's faces. This is much deeper than you think. This is not just like COVID. It's a covert form of control by telling you not to do something across the entire fucking world. And you should be scared because, you know, that's the whole point. And then you fix your fears by taking a vaccine. Vaccine, not supposed to do anything, just a little bit of fucking stabby side effect bullshit. You're gonna go through it, you will survive it. But the whole point is to go through the process and not fear anymore, you know. 
And sometimes if, if you feel like you don't need a vaccine, that's fine. That's fine. But you still have to do something. You still have to submit to the government to do some little fucking thing to participate in the government affair. A government event that they have came up with. You still have to fucking follow rules. You know? And in that moment, you can socialize too. For the first time, you can fucking stand in line and socialize and look at other people's faces and all that shit. Maybe remove a mask because you're vaccinated. Like, this is actually starting to make sense to me. I kind of hate it, but all these fucking NPC haters, they're still below me, you know? Anyone can hate NPCs. It doesn't mean that they're an NPC, it just doesn't mean that they're productive either, is the problem. It doesn't mean that they can go forward and be productive and actually detect that the purge is happening. The COVID 3.0 is happening. And it's like, oh, remember when my my farty fart was smelly smelly, bro? I don't care. We went through this. It might come back within my lifetime, but it's very rare. It's very apocalyptic type of thing that's probably not going to actually occur the same fucking way. All right. Next, please. Tick. Yeah. You could have not predicted me uh attacking a person who's like attacking the covid vibes because censorship was pretty fucking brutal and it's hardcore to think about censorship i do not like that too much but it's just specifically for that one thing for that one topic that i don't want to talk about anyways too much so whatever but uh, we're not even talking about a medical issue here of like who's dying with none of that matters none of that fucking matter ne never would that fucking matter it's self-esteem that's always the question mark that you should always ask for of like how self-esteem works and self-esteem is like you get told not to socialize because people just not gonna give you any self-esteem they will start try to rob you as best as they can and you can see it through the internet, I can tell you guys, that is true. You would go outside, there's nothing to fucking socialize with. It's completely true. Whatever government did, the indirect statement that's very hard to decode, and if you're very desperate, you can go to Sweden. You know. You still have an option. Funny enough, if you're a grown-ass person. Otherwise, just keep on growing. Keep on looking forward to things because things just pass. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, survive so things pass. Did you get a blue screen during the late Yeah, sure. This is my sexy be stuff, guys. Dominant all over the world. Gasoline powered engines will be allowed, but child sexual mutilation will be banned. Almost everything we think we know about addiction is wrong. You get a rat. Let's talk about socialization. A rat that drinks drug water because it, the rat is alone. That's what I do. Alone. Mm, watch sexy things. Because I'm not socializing, I can do whatever I want. The moment you, you are socializing, you're not allowed to drink drug water because you might miss out on opportunities. And it's actually scary for rats to socialize because you are in a competitive environment, almost. If you fall asleep, if you're not fully alert, if you're drugged out, like, pe people will take advantage of you, and you might lose your mind and stuff. That's why. Now, yes, it tackles addictions. You can replace addictions with socialization. Now, socializing with wrong people will still get you back into addictions, while uh, socializing with the right people will block your addictions. Like... If I had a girlfriend, I could promise her not to play video games. I could make that sacrifice. As long as spending time with her is actually very high quality time. Uh, unlikely I will drop video games because it's a very big deal. But I'm just showing an example of what could happen. You make a promise to be a better person because you have someone you care about. And you don't want to let them go. You want to spend more time with them so you have to make some sacrifices. That's the whole point of cutting addictions. Addictions is the first thing that you would cut 
in order to make stronger bonds with people. Fascinating, right? Gen Z watch. Skip. Okay, here's something I think about. Is the most simple thing you could make entirely yourself. I'm not talking about buying all the components from store and putting it together. I mean, literally every single part of it you make. Do you think you can make a pencil? No, you wouldn't be able to make a pencil because you need wood, you need the shard, you need a little bit of piece of metal, you need to know the rubber, you need to know how to fucking piece them all together. It's all manufactured. It's all set up. It's across many, many years we have built all these crazy-ass uh, high-tech factories to build all these things and put all these materials together. Isn't that crazy? We are codependent. It's a pretty big revelation. Thank you very much. The sting in metal is actually really good for us. The nettles contain... Ne well, that's cool. It's a little scary, though. Do not believe why. Do not ah, yes. Uh, it really We're gonna have our women finish this off. So there is this... Shit, Whistle. where is it? You can... Five things... Temperature anomalies mm. that are currently... Isn't it weird? There's a fucking... <laughs> Fucking dragon has been summoned. I don't know what happened here. But we had to experience this too. And this like red territory where I am living, like it was pretty rough. This is like a death valley at this point, I would imagine. Like they are more south and they get even hotter anomalies. Like what the fuck it what happened this summer? And we broke some records apparently. Crazy. I want to show you this one. If you're talking to a girl and she's talking to at least three other guys or even one other guy, I guess, and she gives you dry responses, she's mean to you, she doesn't reply to your texts for like a full day, she probably doesn't like you and you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to go through that just because you think she's pretty or she's cool or she is good at a video game or something. Just coming from a woman's perspective, when I like a guy, I'm crazy for him. I will not leave him alone. I will harass him. I will probably show up at his work. Okay, maybe that's a little too far, but uh, you, you get what I mean. It's pretty obvious. It's a human thing. It's a human connection. Despite having different genders, people have to put the same amount of effort into a relationship for it to work. Just mimicking the fact that I type message, you type message doesn't work if I type a better message than you do. If I resolve conflicts better than you do, or are you just too young, that could also be a problem. You can be the hottest person in the world, but if you decide that you have no time for me, it's over. Right? I'm obviously not going to be obsessed. People have to put down the same amount of time for each other is the only way you can keep the bond or time or values. Same amount of values for a relationship to last. 50-50. And you can keep increasing the intensity of a relationship, making sure that it never really fades away. It keeps growing, right? And you're becoming more codependent. And it's just pretty obvious. There's, like, lovable women uh, up your caliber. Just for the lols. I want to watch this again. <laughs> Hello? Who's calling? Guess who, shithead? Mm. Sorry, no idea. Yeah, it's Elon Musk. Yep, that's right. You ruined my life. Alright, so, you know how we laid you off recently, and you can't provide for your family now? M my wife left me. Huh, yeah. Anyway, was looking at the documents, turns out we were overpaying you. Huh. So, you're gonna need to give back some of your salary we paid you. Fuck me, dude. Mm -hmm. Give it back. No! You Venmo me, I also take Zell. Why don't you come down here and fight me like a man, you prick? Give me my money back, shithead. Or I'm suing. Oh, I love it. And the final one... You will not believe why Bumble is shifting away from the requirement of having women make the first move on their app. This past week, it was reported that women will no longer have to make the first move on Bumble. And the reason why is because they received feedback from women saying that making the first move was too much work or a quote-unquote burden. Isn't that interesting? Well, that fucking sucks. 
So there's no incentive. There's never an incentive. Like, I just sit on Tinder of like, well, I can make your first move. What's next? They can't make the second move, though. You know, like, you, you, they can't just do the first move. They can't do any moves. Women are just fucking docile fucking losers. To some extent. Or they just pretend that they, they, they don't like you. In that particular moment, and there's other choices. It's just such a bizarre mindfuck going on, on these dating apps. But that's just drug. That's the drug for the rats, who are stuck in their fucking cages, alone. Don't want to socialize, not desperate for anything. Good for them, I guess. You know, I will not raise my fucking paws and be like, Oh, I love this! I love the internet being my drug. Yeah, it's great, it's wonderful, but I will, you know... Do a 50-50 split of explore this new territory of actually socializing, of actually doing things properly. Which is very hard to reach, apparently. But you get old enough and it happens. Right now, I will not socialize. I'll just deal with the government. I'll uh, generate a lawsuit every fucking month, it feels like. When I get 30 years old, it's lawsuit time. This is how you get paid. Lawsuit! What a desperation, because people are fucking idiots, and because people need training. We shift the requirements. We go, go downhill, basically. We were hoping that women gonna do things, but they're choosing not to do things. Well, let's leave it up to desperate men instead, I guess. And well, that will not work also. Anyways, fuck that. Let's keep watching Sniper Wolf, am I right? This is still a better relationship that I can possibly have from anywhere. Just me reacting to Sniper Wolf reacting to things. Because these are pretty cool things, guys. There's this cactus thing, because everything except rockets have cameras. So she detected a fake cactus that's spying on everyone. If yes, this the... guy gets a new hand, life is not fair. It's a pretty weird bathtub thing. I mean, do we like snakes, though? The frick is going on in South America. <laughs> Come back, I just want to talk! <laughs> can't be real, no, it's not real. Holy crap. How is it so fast, too, bro? Holy crap, man. Leave me alone. She been somewhere in the this ball thingy. But it doesn't feel vertical. It's just set up a little differently. It's like the whole part of the sphere that you see turns into a screen and they have like all these like mm, Sphere, let's go. Oh. I have a violent urge to just kick it, squash it. Oh look, there's the this gold ball. is a prison! Now, I'd be scared of accidentally stepping. That's barking at itself. On it. It's simply too- the Pikachu beetle! Wait, so this is real! Pikachu was not based on the Pikachu beetle. What do you mean? See, Sniper Wolf is cool. Sometimes. Not these three times I couldn't watch these. Unfortunately. And let's watch uh, Unspeakable. I will even start evaluation for the end of the video. Out to see which one is the best, but first, we gotta start at the one dollar home. They don't even have, uh, these are gaming setups, right? Gaming houses. And they don't even have a game here. It's just a gimmicky thing that's not connected to anything. What is that? Can this game? Yeah, turn it on. Yeah, mean? it's not working. Absolutely no power. It's not plugged in. Should have at least brought some handheld things and a battery pack. Like they did on the other house. But I guess one dollar can't fucking buy nothing. What is that, a fridge? Alright, I'm leaving. Whoa, oh, oh, bug! What is that thing? What is that thing? Oh, there it is. It's a fly. Yo, dragonfly got- Gabe got attacked on the way up. Our base will be much better. Nice. Welcome to our gaming house. Hello? Hello? Like doo-doo? Mm -hmm. Because we spent all of our money on an Apple Vision Pro and a PC. Well, that fucking sucks. Also, it's floating. It's just like lame We've and unstable. Best up, man. We share. And the furniture sucks too, bro. Turn on my PC. All right, I'm done with this. I'm gonna go play Switch on the mini boat. Hand me that. 
Did I miss anything about the purge? Security breach. That one, that one, that one. And yeah, well, this one sucks too. She's still defending herself of like, oh, it's too sloped of the roof. It was outside of the perimeter. All these weird excuses of uh, creating that perfect loophole. What a disaster. Who knows what's going on with uh, Joe Biden as he uh, conceded to someone else that hopefully loses because, fuck, you know. We don't need that. What the heck is that? Hello? Are these other... Hey, hey, that's a TV! Whoa, I got you! Should the parrots is out of control, bro. Oh, they go back to the creeper again. A thousand up house with five levels of gaming. No, no, no! no! Yes! Oh. All four of these, I'll give you a prize. Four. Does that work, bro? What are they made out of? This is so cool. I want this guy right here. You want? Isn't there I like more? This. Don't these work as well? These are axes, bro. Fuck right yeah, here. let's it's go. Frog holding up. They don't know how to do random things. Never counted them to do that. As long as the content is scripted, they can do pretty good stuff. But the moment it gets random, they throw a fucking chair. Dude, what the You always ruin the fun. Of course. I'll take this one. That looks like our cameraman. What do you mean? <laughs> you better run. I think we should just go upstairs. Come on, the, the... I want him. My oh. James is a menace. What is going on? Why is he breaking everything, <laughs> including Nathan's head? I'm just trying to give you guys a chair. Come with me up to the final story of our Minecraft gaming house. This Minecraft gaming house. This is the we have an entire security system that can pretty much see every. That's that's the world in a nutshell right now. <laughs> we have the best security system. This joke fucking goes hard. Holy shit, man. And best of yet, we have an entire security system that can pretty much see every. Fours. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so sad they need games, bro, these boys. On the front of our house. Playing Minecraft and building three doors and saying that's a good thing when uh, this is a fucking safety hazard as well. Because there's three. What do y'all boys think? Oh, yeah, that's fresh, dude. It's a 10 out of 10 for. But there's just Minecraft in there. The other games were kind of cool, though. Sure. So that's pretty much gonna wrap front door. I didn't hear the doorbell. It was like, okay, yep, we gotta go. Do not Purge, let's go. I oh, game. take over. I think, guys, my monitor. My whole PC is down there. This is not skibbity. Uh, contrary to the fact, this is actually skibbity, because skibbity is bad. And that's definitely it. Like, you can definitely improve your content. Well, there goes our base, bro. Whatever. Or you might get flushed down the toilet. I'm gonna die of cringe. He's not lying. Call me if you need a savior. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys next time. There's nothing else to cover, to be honest. Purge is the purge and the bigger players come to play soon enough. Bye-bye.